Hi and welcome to Technospot.net videos and today we have got a drop sync app for review for Android and this is really a first client which actually you know syncs uh, your SD card something on your SD card like photographs or songs with a Dropbox in two ways so it's not just syncing your SD card to Dropbox but anything you put on your Dropbox comes down to your Android phone also so we'll take a look now what is good about is uh, this app works with the uh, official Dropbox app so you know if you have the Dropbox app installed already it will not ask you for a username and password so we'll just say link with Dropbox checks for the official Dropbox app installed if it's already installed it will not ask you for a username and password so you can just say allow it picks up the email id automatically so you just say allow and it will automatically register on your web interface with you as a application which you give permission so this is a free version so I'll just sync one but if you get a pro version you can sync any number of folders so now it's asking me to choose which one do you want to you know sync so primarily I just uh, move on the screenshots to to my uh, desktop by email or something so let me see if I can actually find that doesn't seem to be there so I was guessing the screenshot folder will be there seems not so okay we'll, we'll select something else um, probably I'll select this one so I'll select this DCIM folder so I'll select it now I need to select a folder on my Dropbox account so I already one folder Android pictures I'll select this so whatever I shoot now will automatically start syncing with my Dropbox account so this is useful if you take a screenshot and you want to send it to a computer on your home and you want your parents to see you share this folder with any number of people and you can share it across any number of people I mean just awesome so select this and give a confirmation now this will start syncing now depending on you know how many uh, photographs you have on your phone and what is the size what you have selected while shooting it's going to take a bit of time depending on your wi-fi speed and all but good thing about is you got a clear sync status over here you can see the last sync duration status how many files are getting uploaded then you have email storage coda you know your dropbox account status basically so how much is available how much is not available so now we'll take a look at the settings so you can stop the sync if you are thinking if you think you are moving from Wi-Fi to 3G you can just stop it you go to settings now you can see the sync folders now since this is a free version is just one folder I cannot add more I, you can skip hidden files you can set the file size limit so you know whatever you want if you want it should be less than 5 MB go ahead most of the images will do but probably for music fans it will be an issue auto sync interval so you can have you know how often do you want the interval to be done we try delays instant upload uh, there is something I think it's already there with uh, uh, with android it uploads to picasa and all but if you want it to drop box you need the instant upload power source you know when the upload should go so you want a usb battery or ac usb only so if you don't want to run it on uh, battery just say to ac usb mode so it saves a lot of battery battery level only if level you know you can define how much battery percentage should always check for so you don't you know do that again roaming only should be i think for pro version Notify when sync displays ongoing notification when sync is running. So you can actually see, you know, synchronizing data with Dropbox is already going on. So we'll close this off. Your Dropbox account about provision and all those stuff. So you know that's all. That's how it works and possibly one of the best app you might be seeing. Uh, it's already going on. I have a huge amount of data. I don't know. Probably it should show me how much uh, MV or you know files I have on that folder. So that's how it works. A great app. You can at least 
having photograph synced if you do not want to have the pro version and if you want to really want a pro version and you want to sync your music folder and all those stuff you can go ahead and buy this app so thanks for watching the video hope you like it share it with your friends give a feedback we'll pass on to dev and subscribe to our youtube channel thanks